Hello, and welcome to the Equipping You for Living podcast with Pastor Steve, where our desire is that you reach your full potential in Christ and become all that you can be in Christ by fulfilling the perfect plan that God has for you. We believe that God's word is the key to unlocking your potential and helping you to fulfill his perfect plan so that when you stand before him, you will hear him say to you, your life counted for my kingdom. Now let's see what God has for us today. In this episode, we will continue our study in um, Psalm 23. We're now on verse 4. And verse 4 tells us this, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I look at this verse, and it brings me great comfort. It also reminds me of the world that we live in. You know, when this is written, there was a lot of dangers in just being around and, and places that you go. But, you know, we still live in an evil world. We live in a world that is full of sin and a lot of bad things. And, and it was all brought about by the fact that Adam and Eve sinned. So it brought sin into the world. And... I think of that when I I see this first line in this verse. You know, we walk around in this world. You know, and there's death all around us because of sin. And now, especially with the COVID-19, people are really scared because death seems like it comes quicker. And it comes fast. You don't know where it comes from. So people are are scared. You know, I've known many people that, that tell me that they have fear and panic, and many of them are even Christians. But listen to what David says in the next line. I will fear no evil. Isn't that amazing? He just gets done saying, even though I'm walking around through the shadow, through the valley of the shadow of death, it says, I will fear no evil. You know, that's consistent with what we're taught in the New Testament in different places. But the one that I really like when I think about this issue of fear is 1 Timothy, or 2 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. You know, we're told that we do not have to fear. Fear does not come from God. That spirit of fear that we have does not come from God. And you know why? Because Jesus conquered death. We have no reason to fear. It says that instead of fear, God has given us the power, has given us power and love and a sound mind. So that's what God gives us. Fear comes from the enemy. You know, Satan wants us to be afraid. He loves to see us afraid because that distracts us from following God. That distracts us from doing what God wants us to do, to living for God. But here we're told, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. God tells the New Testament that he has not given us the spirit of fear. We're told other places that, you know, we we shouldn't fear at, at all. So when we do fear, when we are afraid, you know, we're human and there are going to be times we're afraid. 
we need to recognize that that's not coming from God. And that's not how he wants us to live. We can live with peace. We can have peace. We don't have to have fear. You know, here it goes on to say, I will fear no evil for you are with me. You know, he knows that he's not afraid because God is with him. And that's the amazing thing about being a Christian. It doesn't stop us from having bad things happen to us. It doesn't stop us from getting sick. It doesn't stop us from having financial problems. It doesn't stop us from having relational problems. We still live in this world where all this stuff is going on. But what it does for us, it gives us a better way to deal with these things. It allows us to deal with them with God walking with us. See, he is with us. It goes on to say, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. For the shepherd, the rod and the staff was a way of disciplining the sheep, keeping the sheep under control, but it was also a way of protecting the sheep. And this works both ways for us also. We are under God's protection, and we can be protected by him with his rod and his staff. He will fight for us as long as we allow him to. We need to submit to him. We need to acknowledge him as our shepherd, as our Lord, as our savior. You see, his rod and his staff can comfort us. You know, we have to accept Jesus as our shepherd. We must not fight him and we must submit to be under his protection. And if we do this, we can say like David, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I would challenge you today to examine your life, to look at how you live your life. Are you trusting God at this time? Are you allowing him to be the one to control your life? Are you allowing him to fight your battles for you? Are you allowing him to comfort you as you walk through this life? and encounter all of the harsh things that go along with it, and especially the COVID-19 at this time. And so I would just challenge you to do that, to accept him, his comfort, to accept his care. Let us pray. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your care. We thank you for the fact that we don't have to fear as we live this life that we don't have to fear the things around us. We don't have to fear the COVID-19 because you conquered death for us. And we thank you that we will see you in heaven when we leave this earth. So Lord, I just pray that you would help us to have peace tonight as we rest in you, that you would allow us to and help us to um, walk with you and to submit to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We hope that you enjoyed this podcast and pray that it has encouraged you to strive to fulfill God's plan for your life. Please tap the like and subscribe buttons and also share with your friends so that they may be encouraged also. Until next time, live for Jesus.